Hi dear students, in today's sessions, we are going to derive one of the most important derivations for second P board examination. The question is, define electric potential. So we have to define electric potential due to a point charge. Okay. And we have to derive, okay, an expression for potential due to a point charge. We have to define electric potential and we have to derive an expression for potential due to a point charge. So this is the question. First, we will define what is electric potential. Okay. The understanding def understanding of definition is very, very important because when you, if you understand the definition properly, then it becomes very easy to derive. Okay. The electric potential at a point is defined as the work done, the work done in carrying a unit positive charge in carrying a unit positive charge from infinity to the point against the electrostatic force of the field. So what is, what is electric potential? It is the work done. It is the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to the given point. So this is the definition. So this is what we are going to do in the derivation. We are going to calculate the work done. Okay. How we'll do that? We'll, we'll see. We'll uh, write the, uh, we'll see the situation here say there is a charge here okay there is a charge plus q okay and uh, we have considered a point p at a distance r from the charge plus q okay now we have to define electric potential at this point p so what is electric potential at point p it is the work done it is the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to the point okay so what we have to do we have to calculate the work done but we see that in here when the charge is at infinity okay when the charge is at infinity okay the force between that unit positive charge and this plus q will be less very less okay or approximately equal to zero but when the positive charge is being brought towards p then what happens the force increases so there is a variable force okay whenever there is a variable force we have to use integration okay first what we will do we will calculate first we will calculate the small work done okay the small work done in displacing the positive charge unit positive charge from a to b okay so what is the work required for us to calculate to bring the charge positive charge from point a to point b that we will calculate that work done will be very very small okay that very small work done dw okay in bringing unit positive charge from a to b is given by dw is equal to f dot dx f dot dx because work done is equal to dot product of force and displacement what is f dot dx that will be f dx cos theta now if you observe okay since it is a positive charge this is also positive charge force between those two okay they have a repulsive force electrostatic force will be in this direction okay displacement is in the opposite direction okay so therefore angle between them is 180 degree so therefore cos 180 is minus 1 therefore that small dw okay small dw will be equal to minus f dx now we will make a substitution for this f what is this f f is the force between this plus q and plus 1 coulomb charge okay when 1 coulomb charge is at point a okay what is that force will write dw is equal to minus force is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 means plus q into q2 q2 means 1 1 coulomb divided by r square what is the distance between plus 1 coulomb and plus q it is x okay x square so what happens into dx so dw okay dw is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by x square into dx okay now how to find out uh, total work done what we have done just now is we have ca calculated one small work done in displacing the particle from a to b now what is the total work done in displacing the particle from infinity to r okay infinity to point p so how to do that we have to carry out integration okay so therefore therefore 
total work done is equal to integration of dw integration of dw between the limits see here between the limits infinity to r okay infinity to r between the limits infinity to r so what happens integration of minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by x square with respect to x between the limits infinity and r now we can see that this 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is a constant q is also a constant so we can take it outside so what happens work done is equal to minus q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into integration of 1 by x square between the limits infinity and r into dx that is equal to minus q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into see this minus this 1 by x square can be written as x to the power minus 2 okay integration of x power minus 2 between the limits infinity and r with respect to x okay so what happens that is equal to w is equal to minus q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught okay now this uh, integral is in the form of integration of x power n integration of x power n is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so this can be written as x to the power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 between the limits infinity and r so that is equal to that is equal to minus q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into okay x to the power minus 1 divided by minus 1 between the limits infinity and r now what we will do is this minus here okay this minus here and this minus here gets cancelled so the next step would be w is equal to w is equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into x to the power minus 1 okay this x to the power minus 1 can be written as 1 by x 1 by x between the limits infinity and r now we'll apply the limits what happens q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into first we have to apply the upper limit then we have to put a minus symbol then we have to put lower limit so what happens 1 divided by r minus 1 divided by infinity so what is 1 by infinity we know that 1 by infinity is equal to 0 so therefore work done is equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 by r or work done is equal to writing in a better form 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q divided by r so this is what we have defined we have defined that electric potential at a point is equal to work done okay in bringing the point from infinity to r so that work done we have calculated therefore the derivation is over therefore by definition according to the definition that we have written this work done this work done is equal to potential therefore by definition this we have to write this electric potential is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q divided by r this is the final equation derivation is over thank you very much